All right, hello uh, and welcome. Uh, you've reached the Watch Me First video for the Project Monkey Listen, uh, a DIY audio spectrum uh, analyzer display. So uh, I hope to spark your interest in some signal processing with this project because um, it is really neat. So the Monkey Listen um, is a project that uses a Freedom K20 D50 uh, 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 board. Uh, it combines it with the Freedom OLED Shield to make your own spectrum analyzer display. So, um, in the end, the end result is a, a very functional DSP system that can analyze audio um, and kind of display, analyze, say, analyze audio from microphone and kind of display it on the OLED board. And there are the example software has a few different modes. One was a time domain mode. Uh, we can look at it in the frequency domain data, or we can look at what's called a time frequency plot. And I have some example videos to show you that. So they're all really cool visualizations for audio. So there's also some extra I.O. Um, provided to be able to hack the code uh, to kind of create your own uh, DMM or O-scope. So, so some of the skills we're going to look at here is spectral analysis via FFT. So if you've never used an FFT before, uh, this is a great uh, way to get started. Uh, we have an OLED display that we're going to interface, um, an electric microphone. Uh, hopefully you're going to get some experience soldering, some SOIC 8, you know, 1206 uh, surface mount devices. And we're going to play around with the DSP library. Um, some of the tools you're going to need, uh, first is the Freedom K20D50. I really like this board because it has the Cortex M4 core with DSP instructions and it just has enough flash, you know, in RAM to be useful for so, some neat stuff. So, um, you know, the board I believe is 16 or $17. It's a little more than the K25 uh, or KL25Z boards, but it has a little more processing horsepower. So you're going to need to grab one of these. Um, a big part of the project is the Freedom OLED. So the Freedom OLED is uh, a shield that basically incorporates this New Haven 128 by 64 pixel organic LED display. I gotta say this display looks absolutely beautiful, you know, when you see it in person. Um, and you can get some nice, uh, nice graphics on it. Um, it can display up to 16 intensity levels. Um, now, on this board is also an electric microphone interface for the gain control, uh, an RS-45 interface for communications to something else, um, and some GPIO. And the GPIO can tie into either digital logic or go right to the A to D converters, you know, on the chip. So everything's on here. We're, there's a video in the prerequisite list of um, that we go through the hardware design. Uh, in terms of development tools, as of today, everything was de developed with Code Warrior 10.5. Now, I believe 10.6 was recently released. Uh, it should work in 10.6, but uh, if you want to grab 10.5, that's fine as well. Now, as soon as the Freedom K20D50 is available on the embed uh, environment at embed.org, we'll have a version there as well with the online compiler. But for now, we're, we can use Code Warrior, um, so you'll need to grab that. And the, all the example code, code is on GitHub. Um, now, if you made it here, you found the prerequisite video list. I have a nice YouTube playlist that has all the videos uh, that you should watch through to really stand, understand all the parts and pieces. So this is a key part of all the projects is going through the, the video lectures. So you're here at the Watch Me First. Um, you next want to watch the demos of the... Uh, the, the monkey listen to see what it does. Um, then from there, we kind of dive into spectral analysis. Uh, we look at the FFT library. Um, I also want to introduce you to fixed point math for embedded systems. This set of videos shared with the monkey jam project, the, the guitar interface. Um, we look at a particular implementation of a fixed point numbering system. Um, I have a video on you know, overviewing everything in the Freedom OLED board. Uh, I found a video on the web uh, on EEV blog uh, that goes over electret microphone design. This is a very uh, a very useful video to learn all about electret microphones. Uh, and there's also a video here that shows 
how to load and configure the example software. So that's another important component of the projects is stepping you through the code. Just so, you know, that's a challenge with all example code. It's it's nice to hear someone talk their way through it so you can understand how to make it work. Um, now, from there, it, it's all on you to put it together. So basically, you got to get a Freedom OLED, put it together. Um, the bill of materials and everything you need on the Freedom OLED page. Uh, now, if there's enough demand, uh, we'll consider building a bunch by Kickstarter just to sell pre-made. Um, so certainly uh, put a message uh, either on the YouTube comment page or on the, the page for the Monkey Listen or send me a message, Eli Hughes. Um, and uh, just to kind of vote for, yeah, get a pre-built one made. Um, now, don't be afraid to build it yourself. With all these projects, we want to encourage you to learn how to build electronics. Um, that is a critical skill set in embedded systems. So once you get that uh, done, you put it, put it together, you make the two boards, we can download the software. Uh, then you play with it. Sping, sing, speak, yell. You might hook up your guitar to it. You might hook up, you know, I don't know, God knows what to it. Um, and lastly, this is the important part, hack it. Figure out what can you do. You have a microprocessor, a microphone, um, and some spare A to D converter inputs. What else could you do with it? Could you make it a digital multimeter? Could you uh, put a front-end circuit on the A to D converters to turn it into an oscilloscope? Um, I don't know. Maybe that's what you need to figure out. So uh, if you do do something cool, post a YouTube video and uh, show it to the world. We would love to see it. So there is a quick uh, uh, overview of the uh, Monkey Listen project. So I, I, I hope you go and do the project and send me your results. Talk to you later.